Florianopolis, a wonderful city in Brazil. Pretty much. I got robbed. <laughs> Pretty much. But before I got there, I had a little problem in the Sao Paulo airport. This trip is very tragic. So I go from Miami to Sao Paulo. All right. My flight leaves a little later than it should have from Miami. All right. I get to Sao Paulo around 6.45 a.m. or something like that. Get to immigration around 7 a.m. Leave immigration around 8 a.m. because it's like a one hour line. And then after that, and so I run across the whole entire airport and get there at 8.30. Haven't even went through TSA or anything yet. I talk to the workers. They're very confused for a long time. But and then I try to keep telling them exactly what happened and stuff like that. And they charged me 500 US dollars for a flight to Florianopolis. Oh my God. So funny thing is, this wasn't even my fault. I'm going to try to get things fixed. But this is traveling <laughs> i've never missed a flight in my life never have until now so i got things fixed well kinda and i landed in floripa oh wow <laughs> Oof. oh wow it's hot outside oh my god i just woke up okay good morning brazil <laughs> about to eat a coconut eat. <laughs> about to drink out of a coconut never done this in my life that's pretty good. Mm. Wow, it's like really sweet. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Coconut. We then went to a local seafood restaurant. We got fish. <laughs> Rodrigo. <laughs> local fish. Oh, you do, you do use this one. You do not bite. Oh, you yeah, do. Yeah. yeah. No, oh. just, just go there like this. Like this, yeah. Don't, don't cut, cut. Kay. See, here, here is, is, here's the shell. Ah. You look at it. Yeah. So you just, you just turn it. No, no, no. Turn it upside. Turn it, turn it. Yeah. Then you just, yeah, just rub it, rub it. Oh, yes, like that's that. that. Yeah. Oh that's my it. goodness. Mm, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's fresh. <laughs> you just kind of eat it. <laughs> you can put it with the rice as well. Mm. Mm. You got like rice and get that on top of the rice. Mm -hmm. It's hot. <laughs> Really so what is this called? It's a camarão no abacaxi. <laughs> English. <laughs> it's shrimp on pineapple. Oh yeah, shrimp with pineapple. So this is sand that you don't feel anywhere else in Florianopolis. It's literally rocks. It's made from little shells. That's so cool. Woo. It doesn't stick as much as the other sand. Yeah. <laughs> little broken pieces. Seashell. to try yeah. wait so what is this sugar cane sugar cane this is really good it's muy bueno <laughs> <laughs> i ended up trying more local food no <laughs> it's wow mm. it's like a cake hat it's like a cake hat it's not supposed to be eaten all at once you're a mm -hmm. monster but okay this one it's very similar but it's like white chocolate at least two bites Yes, that's how we usually eat it. Yes. <laughs> mm. What next? <laughs> now we have our very own Brazilian soda. It is made from Guarana. It's a Brazilian fruit. Oh my. It's very sugary. It is. <sighs> I don't usually drink soda, so. <laughs> but compared to Coke, it's definitely better. Yes. Mm -hmm. I then saw something I've never seen before. Where is the iguana or whatever? Oh my god, dude, no way. He's gonna eat me alive? Run away. Look at that. Look at that. What the hey. You gonna hold it? No. <laughs> After that, I went sand sledding for my first ever time. But the main problem was that it was windy and the sand kept getting in my eyes due to the wind. Ah. Oh. <laughs> 
place it flat down. This looks so gnarly. Oh my god. It's the back of my neck. Oh no, it's not. Okay. I got fried. <laughs> oh my We got sweet pizza and we got all the salty pizzas. <laughs> and I said yes to literally everything. Like there are people coming up to us every five seconds asking for more pizza. See <laughs> <laughs> barbecue? No, barbecue, no. And I am stuffed, but I have so much pizza. It feels like I am in a Guinness World Record fastest eater competition of pizza. It feels like Thanksgiving, all this food. <laughs> oh my. So this is the aftermath. I can't eat anymore, bro. I just can't. I'm gonna die. This is it. This, this is all the napkins too that I use. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of food. We got pasta. Mm. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> Meat, feed, eggs. How's the lighting in here? <laughs> I got back from Carnival with some interesting news. Because I don't have my phone with me. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, 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 it's all right. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I need to tell people what what happened tonight. <laughs> Here's my phone for these next this next two weeks. Yeah, something like that. I got robbed, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, I got pickpocketed. Um, my phone got stolen. I was just posted up in Carnival. <laughs> Yeah, this has never happened before. That guy just swiped it. I didn't feel a thing. Like the second I felt my, there was no phone, I, I checked my watch and my phone was disconnected. Live and learn. <laughs> also, I was just told that I have a lot of scratches on my back. I was in a whole mosh pit. Oh, I, oh crap, I do. Wow, that's nuts, dude. I just don't know how to react to this. This has never happened to me. It's just nuts. It's nuts. <laughs> at least karma is a thing. <laughs> but everything happens for a reason. Maybe I might look back at this in 10 more years and say, I'm glad that happened. <laughs> I don't know how, but... <laughs> Since then, I never brought anything to Carnival, but I did wear some interesting clothes. <laughs> this is how they make the sugar cane. Later on, I had to get some drone shots of Floripa, both midday and during sunset. So I woke up bright and early one morning. 4.54 right now. We walking around. <laughs> I got some fun drone shots of the sunrise. And then I went for a hike at a place called Laguna Jolesta Beach. I think that's how you pronounce it. Take this? Yeah. Are you I am, sir. Are you really sure about it? Yes, I am. They told me to be careful, so I, well, kind of did. <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> This is what the unemployed friend does on a Tuesday morning. <laughs> it's literally Tuesday morning. Doubled up. <laughs> Doubled up. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I had to put this bad boy to work. Oh my god. 
Yesterday I had some Brazilian barbecue and I woke up this morning with a little bit of diarrhea. Fun day today. <laughs> Good news, some of the thieves that stole the phones ended up getting caught and some of them are at the police station. So we're gonna go to the police station to see if we can find my phone. It's been seven hours later, I don't know. I got my phone back. I actually got my freaking phone back. It wasn't in the case, so I had to replace my case for like 30 reais. The guy that stole my phone, he stole like 40 other phones. He got caught red-handed, so karma's karma. And that guy looked like he was like 17 or 18 too. This is an orange right here, but it's actually not an orange. It's actually like a Brazilian fruit. So this is not an orange, and I'm actually serious. This is not an orange. I forget what it's called. That my phone might squirt. Oh my God. <laughs> God is good though. The chances of that happening were so slim. And shout out to Rodrigo and his friend for helping me out on this because um, this is literally an orange, bro. Showing me that the guy, the thief, got caught. Seriously, if it wasn't for Rodrigo, man, I, I would, it would have been gone for good. I would have gotten overcharged with the tourist fee for another phone, man. And this comes to show why making local friends is so effing important, bro. Yummy. Um, the only person who I've come encounter with that was bad in Brazil was the guy that stole my phone. Everyone else that I've met have been so effing friendly, bro. Um, I tried some acai. This is like real and authentic. I think. Oh yeah, the banana gives a good flavor. We got granola. Mmm, crunch, crunch. Very good though. Gives me brain freeze. Rodrigo and I, we made some mistakes today. I failed expensive. <laughs> expensive ones too. I failed to check in because I missed my other flight. I couldn't check in at all, even when I went online. So I tried to check in at the desk, nothing. Like I said, I missed my flight. So my flight got all canceled. So I had to pay some dinero to get another flight. Luckily it only costed a hundred bucks, not 500. They charged me 500 US dollars. And I kind of booked the right day but kind of the wrong month yeah you put april 16th so <laughs> yeah I, I had to get a full new ticket and mine was way more expensive yeah. than his 2 p.m we go and then we get to rio at like seven it's snack time so paco quinia it's basically just peanut butter like crunchy peanut butter this is what it looks like this mm. it's literally just peanut butter with sugar in it it's so good so about seven years ago, I saw this prank on YouTube where when you open this, a freaking spider comes out, you know what I'm saying? So I got handed this, you know, and little did I know, or most did I know, a spider would come out. 